Welcome to part 9 of our Dying Light Developer Tools tutorial. In this video, we'll learn how to place dynamic lighting in shadows. Let's test it on the example of a simple street lamp. First, we need to place it on the map. Find the lamp in the Assets window under the Meshes section with the name lamp underscore a dot msh. Next, let's place dynamic lighting on the map. You can find it in the section Object Types from the Assets window. The default dynamic light is omnidirectional, so it's beaming out from all sides of the object. If you want to change its color and intensity, open Attributes and go to the DYN Lights tab. When finished, click Apply at the bottom of the window to confirm these changes. You can also increase the range of your dynamic light. Just scale it like any other object. Remember that omnidirectional lights don't cast any dynamic shadows. To make our lamp more realistic, we need directional lighting of the spot type. To change the type of light, go to the DYN Lights tab and choose it from the Type list. Just like in the case of Omni Lights, here you can also change the color, intensity and its range. However, contrary to Omni Lights, Spot Type Lights can cast shadows if you choose an appropriate shadow type. So let's choose it right now from the Types list. Look for Spot underscore Shadow. If you want a shadow, you need an object to block the light. A simple barrel will do in this example. For optimal performance though, by default objects don't cast shadows. To enable shadows for a specific object, check Cast Shadows from Dynamic Lights. You'll find this option in the Attributes under the Object tab. Finally, let's make our lamp switch on at night and off when it's bright. Select the lamp and change its class in the Attributes window by clicking the button next to the Class field, as you can see in the screen right now. Find the Lamp DI entry on your list and click OK. Our in-game models have several skin versions, meaning sets of different materials and textures. Thanks to them, objects don't look all identical and can be shown in many different states. Most lamps have skins that show whether they are switched on or off. You can see them under the Skins tab. We'll now set the states of the street lamps to be switched on, switched off and flickering. Next, we can check the box called M underscore day night cycle dependent and add the light to our lamp. To do so, select the lights in the attributes window, go to the parent field, and find the target object on the list.
Now we can preview how our light behaves at different times of day in the VAR list window, which you can find on the toolbar. Finally, let's see our work in the game. One last little tip. When you're in the game, you can use the keyboard shortcut Shift Full Stop or Shift Quotation Mark to go forward or back in the game at one hour intervals. And that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching.